engine ignition, and liftoff. Liftoff of the Falcon 9 rocket on the Spainsat NG-2 flight. And the final mission for B-1076. As you can see, Falcon 9 has lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The Falcon flight computer will now begin throttling down engines in preparation for max Q, or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Power and telemetry nominal. Good call out there for a nominal state of the vehicle. Vehicle is supersonic. Max Q. As you just heard, we've just passed through Max Q. Again, that is the maximum aerodynamic pressure the vehicle will experience. In order to achieve orbit and avoid being pulled back to Earth, the Falcon 9 rocket needs to reach a velocity of roughly 17,500 miles per hour horizontally. To assist with this, the first stage performs a gravity turn, initiated by a pitchover maneuver just 10 seconds into flight. This is also the end, oh, sorry. The engines gimbal a small amount for about five seconds, slowly turning the first stage into an angled trajectory. This angled trajectory combined with, combined with gravity's pull will place the rocket into the final horizontal flight path. You can track our progress to or orbit by keeping an eye on the first and second stage telemetry in the bottom corners of your display. And a good flight so far, a little more than two minutes into this mission. Again, there's no booster landing today, but we're coming up on First stage main engine cutoff at about T plus 2 minutes and 39 seconds, followed by stage separation and then the ignition of that Merlin vacuum engine. 